Do you feel bad about all the single-use plastic in your shopping cart each week? This video is for you. I've got seven swaps you can make. Most of them are fairly easy in order to reduce the amount of plastic in your shopping cart each week. First one that I no longer buy is yogurt. This is homemade yogurt. I made this in my Instant Pot and I have a separate video on how I do that. It involves both this probiotic and this soy milk. So it's a two ingredient yogurt. Takes 12 hours in my Instant Pot. It's super, super easy. Watch my video and see how I make that each week. The next item is peanut butter. I stopped buying peanut butter. This is a jar of, of peanut butter from the store, but I have recently stopped buying this because I use jars such as this one. Um, now that this one's almost empty, I will clean it off, remove the labels, and bring it to my grocery store where I will fill it back up with a nice homemade organic peanut butter in one of those bulk peanut butter um, machines. Whole Foods has those. Um, I know my co-op has one. And it's fairly inexpensive. Um, when you're talking about organic peanut butter, it's gonna be kind of more expensive than non-organic in general. Um, but when you buy it from the bulk section, you're definitely gonna save a little money. And it's kind of fun to watch it come out of that machine. And it's really, really good. I was never a big salad dressing person, but my husband loves it. And so I've started to make it. This is homemade salad dressing. It's a cilantro garlic salad dressing that I made out of cilantro, silken tofu, and a few other ingredients. Um, I'll link below the cookbook that I made this recipe out of, but there are certainly a lot of easy recipes that you can find online. Um, this keeps in the fridge for I would say about a week and I put it on everything from salads to potatoes to um, sandwiches, anything you can think of just to add a little creaminess. I don't have any hummus in my um, refrigerator right now, but when I do make hummus I make it from bulk chickpeas and I try to get tahini in glass jars now. Um, Trader Joe's now carries a really good tahini in this glass jar. Um, from what I understand, glass jars do actually recycle more easily than plastic. And most tahinis out there come in plastic. I have not yet made um, tahini from scratch. I don't know how easy that would be. But um, I use this. I make my chickpeas in my Instant Pot. Um, and I actually just saw a really great video on how to make the best hummus at home, and I will be linking that below as well. Okay, so you know those bags of salad that you get in the grocery store? I've stopped buying those. I haven't bought one of those in a very, very long time. Instead of buying bags of salad, I will buy a head of romaine lettuce, or instead of buying a bag of kale, I get a fresh head of kale. Um, I try to go as local as possible, but that's a little hard. I have noticed that a lot of produce is sourced out of California and I'm on the East Coast, so I'm always looking for kale that's um, closer by. But this kale was actually, I think, grown in Pennsylvania. Um, so I bought this kale and I destemmed it and I put it in this glass jar and I keep this in the fridge. It keeps fresh for about a week and that is when it starts to smell funky. But it is so nice to have an easy way to grab kale and just like zip it in my Instant Pot for some quick steamed kale um, that I add to a lot of meals now because it is a vitamin powerhouse. Okay, I also don't currently have sprouts, but I'm about to start a fresh batch. Um, I love this brand of, I love this brand of sprout seeds um, and they're really easy to grow. They take about, they take about I would say four days or so, and you just have to change out the water twice a day. It couldn't be easier to grow sprouts at home, but I use those sprouting seeds. I take one to two tablespoons of those, and I'll take my ball jar and I'll fill it up. I'll put the one to two tablespoons of seeds in there, fill it up with water, let them soak for four hours, drain it off, and then I start my cycle um, with this lid that I got on Amazon, which I will link below, of growing the sprouts at home. Um, 
And yes, this is not zero waste because these seeds come in a plastic bag. Um, however, it's a lot less waste. This bag of seeds is almost empty now, but when it was full, it probably would have made at least, I don't know how many of those um, little plastic containers of sprouts, maybe, maybe 20 to 30 of those little plastic container, um, plastic containers of sprouts, because this will go for about 20 times and it fills up a jar this size, which is there's next to my head. So you can see how much, how many sprouts you get, quite a few. Okay, how many items do we have left? We have two more items out of my seven. Um, my next one, my next one is not that easy. I'll definitely be honest here, um, but look how pretty it is. Isn't that pretty? That's homemade sauerkraut. This cured for, or fermented for 30 days um, in my pantry. Um, so it was nice and in the dark and I thought, oh, you know, give it a try. Let's see how this goes. I just kind of assumed that it would not work out. However, it really was easy and it really is incredibly tasty. Um, I need to start making a fresh batch because as you can see, I've been eating this and um, going through it and I need to have another batch fermenting soon so that I have more sauerkraut. Um, filling this up took about two heads of cabbage um, and some salt. So the cost is incredibly low. Um, and when you compare it to a good quality sauerkraut at the store, and those generally come in plastic containers, um, the savings is quite immense. Um, I think I spent probably $7 on cabbage for this, to fill this up. On, and that's because I buy organic cabbage. Um, so that is probably about four times as inexpensive considering I would buy a little $7 jar of sauerkraut that would be a quarter of this size. So for my seventh item, um, what I've stopped buying at the store is cereal. So I am a huge cereal fan, but I don't like the amount of plastic waste that it comes with when you open those boxes. They have enormous plastic bags in them. Um, so I've really tried to curb my cereal addiction. Um, and one great way to do that is to make granola at home. And so I bought this giant container of oats a long time ago at Whole Foods, and I've been refilling it from the bulk section, um, organic, oats from the bulk section are an excellent way to save money. They are, even though they're organic, um, there's a really, they're really inexpensive generally. And it's definitely less expensive than buying cereal. So I will make homemade granola. I have a link below to a recipe I follow from Simply Quinoa. I make homemade granola out of rolled oats that I buy in bulk. Um, the other ingredients involved are maple syrup, which I cannot buy in bulk here in North Carolina, unfortunately. Um, I've seen it on sale in bulk in other places. Um, so if you can get maple syrup in bulk, that's pretty great. Um, the other ingredients are these bananas and again, this, this tahini. And it makes a really, really good granola. My husband really likes it. He brings it for breakfast. So those are my seven things that I love to make at home um, in order to avoid plastic. I've not been able to completely avoid it. Um, I still do buy things that come with plastic, um, but I'm trying to really curb it. And one of the other ways that I do so is by bringing produce bags to the grocery store. And I almost never use their plastic bags at the grocery store. I highly recommend you Make that small change if you can. Um, and definitely check out your bulk section and try out these seven things. And let me, let me know, comment below with what you've stopped buying in order to curb your plastic addiction. I am looking for some other suggestions for sure. Uh, please like and subscribe and I will be putting out more videos soon. Thanks.